we're going on a hunt for the mini goats. They're eating, of course. I got them. Okay, so yesterday I kind of left you guys off on, hey, we're building something, and I'm not telling you what we're building, but we're building it, so yeah. And you guys had a lot of good comments, a lot of good guesses, and uh, there's obviously something new right there. Probably may or may not know what that is, but it's coming together. This is a large enclosure. I mean, this is buttery right here. This, this is this is buttery. We just bought these tools to to do exactly what we need to do. Also, currently just pulling down this wire to make it extremely tight. I'm not gonna lie, the whole pulling down of the wire part is really helping this thing out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. whoa. It's not yet. All right, where? I just, I'm not finding that this whole 10 snips is fast enough. That was, that was a lot cleaner, a lot better. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That, yeah, that'll do. All right. All right, we are gonna put these right here. Like, so this is my first venture inside, if I can fit through here. Oh my gosh, that's the door. And we're in. I'm putting in this post right here. It's not drilled in yet. I gotta put it in because what it's gonna do is it's just gonna act as, you know, obviously stability. So let's get her going. And now she's in. She's good to go. Okay, she's all good, but the thing is, is we need another section right here. And I thought we'd... Wow, that is loud. So we're gonna go run and grab another roll and then I need two by fours for these. Okay, uh, we literally just need four more of those because we gotta cut them in half and we need eight. And then more, more wire for sure. <laughs> All right, we're just currently now cutting the two by fours to get everything good. She's coming together though. I mean, you can, you can see her. It's, it's a cage to enclose a bird's. Yeah. <laughs> That now covers up the corner, the and it's flush with that now. So we get this. So you guys can kind of see what, what we did, but like the wire's now crushed in between this two by four. And I've got that down there, here, here, and there. All four corners. Now I've got a door right here. I mean, this is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. All right, come on, Chad. Guys, look how good his leg is doing. Chad, Chad, over here. Come on, buddy, follow me. We're going back. It is so nice out here. The animals are happy. Everything is, everyone's doing fantastic. Steven, what's going on? You're laying on your trampoline. Hi guys, hey, hey Russell. Waddles, don't bite my toes. Jesus, I've been in here for three seconds, Waddles. Gosh dang it, Waddles, get off of my leg. No, here he comes. Oh my Lord, he's hauling. Stay, or not, oh my. I'm telling you, this man is like an apex predator. He bites. Hi, hi, hey, he literally fights with me. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Ugh. Ah, gosh. Hey, hey. Hi, Waddles. What are you doing? What are you doing? My alpacas got shaved and this is Chris's reaction. What is that? <laughs> what is that thing? That doesn't even look like the same animal. <laughs> I know. Like Craig looks even stupider than he did before. <laughs> look at Russell. It doesn't look like Russell. Oh my God. But you have to admit though, he's got to feel like a thousand times better. Oh yeah, they said his teeth have probably never been shaved and that this is, I mean, he hasn't been probably sheared in three, four years. Oh wow. Like Craig still looks goofy. Yeah, Craig still looks dumb. <laughs> but I think, I mean, honestly though, he looks like a thousand times better. In, a, in like a month or two, he's going to look like a premium alpaca. Like right. when they get that like inch coat. Cow. Like the, like the shampooed and conditioned cow. Yes. That's what you're going to look like. I love shampooed and conditioned cows. If you were to take a great Dane and put a giraffe neck on him. That's Russell. That, that would be Russell. All right, Mr. Fishy, this is my least favorite part of the day. I hate that. I, okay, I can't say I hate it because that's kind of rude, but like, I hate him. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat him in a bag and put him in the pond. And there's one fish in there that'll keep him in check. And that's a 10, a, a very large, large, large bass. Come here! But what I need to do is I just need to yeet it, sir. Yeeted. That's what I call that. You are in this bag and you, you got nowhere to go now. All right, we're gonna dump as much of this water out as possible. Okay, all right. Okay. Wow, it's, I always manage to get the room so wet. We're on the move! And you're gonna, that's where you're gonna stay for the next 10 minutes, okay? Don't move. We're going on a hunt for the mini goats. They're eating, of course. I got them. For all the times you want to come out, why are you going back in? Tickling your butt cheeks. All right, he knows to stay. See, I've learned. This is an aggressive creature right here. I didn't know they loved pine cones so much. This guy's ready to go. All I'm going to do, without getting any water in here, I'm just going to pull him out and he's in. 
and now he's swimming down to the bottom. Hey, buddy, can you see him decent? Yeah? All right, I mean, that's it. The bass won't eat him. That fish is a little bit bigger than the tilapia. He'll be fine. We're done with that. Okay, here we go. Oh my, okay, she's now here. And she's not done at all. Not even close to being done. A lot of stuff still got to go into this as far as the inside. So that's for a later video. They're sunbathing. Hi, Craig. It's okay, Craig. Go back to go back to bed. You're good. You're, you're okay. What are you doing? I need this chair. Russell, get out of the pond. No, sir. He's in the actual pond. Okay, can you can you say what you just said again? Yeah, so you know how we had the people come by the other day and they were complaining about the animals and how they didn't like them and giving us all the trouble about how many we had and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Well, apparently, and this is an assumption, but those people called animal control and animal control just showed up uh, with the chief of police because apparently animal control reports into the chief of police. Okay. Which obviously was kind of scary because we're like, what's going on, right? Well, they brought them because they wanted to reinforce the fact that they support what's going on and what's happening. They wanted to reinforce the fact that they are behind you and what you're doing. So they're supporting and, me, like the chief of police and animal control supports me in this. Exactly. Okay. But basically he said that everything looks good that he's never seen such a well taken care of group of animals to have somebody complain about it. He felt like that there was no reason that they complained other than just to complain. Okay. He felt like that it was enough land, but after he left, he called back and he's like, Hey, listen, I hate to inform you, but we found this old and equated ordinance. And unfortunately, since it's actually written as an ordinance, we have to enforce it. And it basically states, because of the type of livestock you have to have, and they don't agree with that, and they're not able to actually control it, it's controlled by city council. So what they're saying is, we're going to have to fight it. And I know you're a stubborn little son of a... So I know you're not going to let anybody take any of your animals, but we got to fight on our hands, because they're going to make us get rid of them. All of them. So they're telling us to fight it. They're saying that they'll back us, that they'll do it with us because they want control over who and how people keep their animals and right now it's it's being controlled by government so who who's on our so the chief of police and animal control is, uh, is trying to fight this law with us exactly so if, if it doesn't if we don't win they're they're taking they just take everything well no we well they will take it if we don't find homes for it by when may 31st or if we don't find new homes for them, basically the way it works is they will come back on the 31st of May. If they still exist on the property, they will start fining you every day until you get rid of them. And by the 30th day, they will take them from you and either rehome them or euthanize them. I said the animal control officer was in tears telling us this. He's like, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. He's like, I know how well you take care of these animals. I know how good of a home they have. They're in such good shape. All the enclosures are perfect. Everything is perfect. You have enough land back here, but because of this one law, I have to enforce it. I'm legally required by the state to enforce it because it's a law. See, the, like, so the, get, the craziest get, thing is, is I called the county. Like, I called our county to make sure all of this stuff was good, and they, like, verified it for me. My thought is, is we... Uh, we go attack City Hall, uh -huh. we get ourselves on the docket in October, and then we take that and say, hey, look, we're fighting this. We take it back to the chief of police and just beg him to give us a waiver until our date in the city council. Okay. All right. And then we tell all of our subscribers to show up at city council to support our efforts. In case you didn't understand any of that, um, there's a law, a law that uh, basically didn't exist but technically does exist. Uh, this is just one of those situations. Even the animal control officer and the chief of police have never seen this law enforced until now. Um, and I'm gonna change it because I'm not getting rid of any of these guys. Uh, it's a pretty stupid law. It was written 20 years ago and nobody really agrees with it. Um, so I've gotta fight it. I've gotta, I've gotta fight the law to keep all these guys. And if I can't, then they all have to be gone by May 31st. And, uh, 
we, we can't let that happen. Um, so I'm not gonna try and be down in this video because that's not gonna help anything. Um, this is basically something we literally just have to win. Give me a second. So, uh, yeah, I know. It's a rough phone call to get. I'm not gonna let anybody take you. So good luck to that guy who wants all my animals gone. But you guys aren't going anywhere. Come here, Waddles. Come here. Other than that phone call, hopefully you guys enjoyed the majority of today's video. But uh, guys, I'm not gonna let anyone touch my touch my animals. These are like my little children right here. And I'm not letting them go anywhere. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>